Hello Gemini and welcome back. Tonight we'll be looking at the energies that will be born for you during the week starting from the 25th until the 31st of January 2021. So uh, let's start Gemini. First we will see a little bit of uh, the past energy and this energy from the past it is somehow connected with uh, uh, the present and the future energies that will be born. Uh, the past could be recent past, could be well, five years ago, could be five months ago, could be ten years ago. For some reason, this energy, okay, so this energy will have something to do with the present and the future energy. So let's uh, see, Gemini. Let's see. Your previous reading uh, was for February. That is was very good. I liked so much. So let's see how you will enter the new month of February. Passionate, <laughs> victoriously. This is how you will enter February, Gemini. And I need one more. Let's see. Let's see for Gemini. I told you. Hmm? Victoriously, you will enter February and uh, you will leave everything behind. All the. some kind of cheating, maybe, some kind of a sneaky energy you leave behind. It's not that you are having, maybe uh, around you are these energies. And you'll say, okay, bye-bye. I'm going to my success and victory. So let's see your past um, energies, Gemini. Okay. Happiness, wow. That was hard for you. You had inner conflicts about something if it would be a uh, long term or not, would it be, would it not be? You're, you're having conflict, conflict inside you and uh, certainly you wanted something to change. Could be some of you uh, went out of a marriage or feeling that a marriage is not uh, satisfying you anymore or a long term relationship and uh, you wanted things to change. And let's see. Maybe you have left this relationship, maybe you're just working uh, hard. Uh, because inside you, you were not satisfied and you wanted things to change all oh, the... I like so much when you see this card, you know. This is new, passionate relationship. <sighs> see, the Ace of Wands with the Page of Wands. The fuck, I cannot keep it anymore. I cannot keep it anymore. The Ace of Wands with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands. That's freaking good energy. That's freaking good energy that will be born for you. And let's see a little bit about the future. Mm -hmm. Celebration. Celebration. Fucking celebration. Equal give and take that um, everyone wants, right? It, it will be for you uh, at the future. And I am dying to clarify now this row. I am dying to clarify about this row. Probably you wanted something long term and uh, during the past. So that was difficult to achieve. But the wheel has turned. Luck has changed to benefit you, Gemini. And then you start all over, brand new. As we say, this energy is will be born, okay? So it will be born this energy during this week and it will come to you. Uh, when it will come to you depends from, um, we will see, we'll clarify and we will see. Okay, you want sex? You have it. You want offer of love? You have it. And um, no kidding about love. That love is... <laughs> J 
shit me now. You will fucking kill me. You will kill me. Um, I'm so happy with this energy. Look, uh, you have the Ace of Wands with a, a page of cup with a uh, Knight of Cups, and then the Knight of Cups is becoming the King of Cups, and offer you also the Ace of Pentacles. Um, I think that most of you that uh, you are watching tarot readers and tarot readings, you already know what it means, right? Love is uh, coming to you, offering real love, and is getting bigger and bigger. The person that is offering you this love from night becomes a king. A king offers big love, big time, and uh, also new beginning that um, could be stable, could be very happy, you know, and uh, uh, could also be having money to be involved. Sex and money and love can be, absolutely. Not even to say to you that maybe two people are coming. I could, I could even say to you that two people are coming to offer you things, offer you a new beginning, and of course love, because ooh, we're talking about Gemini's, right? Sexy Gemini. And uh, even if it was not enough here, here one more, okay? It's not enough, only one, right? Love and love and sex, okay, more sex. With your ex, your ex is coming back to you to, to offer you love. Absolutely, absolutely, fucking lutely. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. There could be though, uh, there could be also involved other people that uh, someone has to leave behind. But at the same time, I feel that your ex is coming back to you to offer you love, not love, sex. Sex, not love. But has to leave behind a situation that, yes, Many people are involved or has to uh, overcome what other people say. Friends, uh, family, um, opinions, opinions, opinions. Has to leave them behind. So to come back to you. Ace of Swords. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune with the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, cheating, yeah, there, there has been some kind of cheating here for you, Gemini. And um, you'll start something uh, from a different base, you know, with clarity, with uh, truth. And um, what you had been thinking as your happiness until now, you will leave it and the wheel will turn for you. That's why here you have tried, you start something new, and here we have again the wheel of fortune coming to you that will offer you the sun, happiness. Hmm. That's very good. A new beginning that you have to leave, yes, you have to leave behind this cheating. You have to leave behind you this, uh, this feeling of uh, cheating. And, uh, future is fucking good for you. The sun is waiting for you. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, three aces already. Uh, Knight of Cups, the King of Cups. Okay, the Six of Cups is the person from, from your past. The sun, as we said, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, Gemini, Gemini, it is, uh, it is, it is changing. How? No, <laughs> of course, and the Ace of Swords again. So this is connection from your uh, present to your future. It is very connected because uh, luck has changed for you finally, going towards happiness, your son. And here it comes again. But now, uh, without the energy of that sneakiness of that uh, cheating and stuff, you overcome this brand new here. Same energy, but brand new, without the problems, the cheating. The... Maybe for some of you, if you have been having financial problems, uh, yes, yes, you will overcome the financial problems. 
poverty, let's say. We're talking about big financial problems. And um, the new beginning. Yes, yes, now that's how it plays out here. The new beginning that you want to do, it means that uh, the things that you will leave behind, the persons that you will leave behind, the energies that you will leave behind will not be the easiest uh, situation because this is an energy that's coming from the past. Uh, so you have, I think that you have to leave somehow, some of you, uh, is home, wedding, relationship that didn't work for you as you wanted and uh, carries with it some kind of uh, of trouble, of um, not f discomfort, let's say, a little bit of uh, disappointment, and you leave them all behind. You have to leave them behind. So to get the sun, let's see the four of cups here. I cannot believe it. Hmm. What? Are you feeling bored of uh, <laughs> of being happy? No, of course not. Of course not. You're just thinking. There is something divine that is coming to you, uh, Gemini, and at points it will be like too good to be true. And you'll be thinking, yes, is it it? Really? How can it be? Look, you will be the Empress. Nothing can stop you, uh, the person that has everything. Okay? This will come fast to you. It will come fast. And uh, maybe you'll have communication. Uh, you'll find out, learn something about this. And what it will be, Gemini, it will be your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. It is just coming to you. It is brilliant. And you will be thinking, sitting and thinking, yes, come on, is it true? Is it really happening to me? Of course it's happening to you. And it's leading you to, to pure joy, pleasure, and uh, happiness, satisfaction. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, it's not only this. It is not only this. I was about to say to you that it uh, could also be about work, about work, but here it comes, the lovers. Not only Gemini, you are passing through all these uh, uh, little thorns that you had been having during uh, your change of luck and your happiness. Not only you are having lots of love offered, being offered to you with new starts, new beginnings, your ex coming back, new person coming for you, leaving behind all shitty situations, going towards your son. And still you will be thinking, what the fuck, is it really coming true? Is it can be true for real? You even have even more options, even more options in your life. And you will be there and you will see them coming to you and they will be very good options do you know why because you're hoping for them this is your star we're talking about celebration and your star you are fucking hoping about this you have your wish fulfillment it's amazing and you will be having news about more options that you can have in your life what more do you want, Gemini? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I really don't know. I see again. I get to summarize. Sexual offer, a new offer about a per from a person or two persons that will come and give offer to you. Love and sex. Awakening. Your ex returns. And you can start something even new with him or her. Or with a new person, two persons. New. But you have to leave the situation, for sure. Uh, you will see uh, during the future that this new beginning also has to leave something behind. It will not be the easiest thing in the world, but at the same time, you will see that things will play out like you could not even believe it. And say, what? No, it's too good to be true. And yes, it is good 
in this true celebration, wish fulfillment from here, that you had been hoping about this. this these are your hopes, your real, uh, real hopes inside you. And you will find out about this and it will be fucking amazing for you. Gemini. So let's see the angels also what I have for you. I'm so pleased about this. Again, you will enter February. Boom. I feel fantastic. And this is the message from the angels for you. Uh, take some time. Take some time to, uh, of course, it is uh, spiritual growth. Hmm. Because I understand it's not that easy to leave situations from uh, uh, from here and here to uh, be reborn, actually, Gemini. And uh, you will need some time also to be uh, with yourself and stay calm, stay easy, relax, meditate. It will help you a lot. And this process, all this process that will happen to you, that will lead you to your hopes, to your happiness, to having options in your life, celebration, wish fulfillment, uh, that nothing can stop you. All this, to get this from here, that the will has changed for your uh, favor. Until here, you grow. Spiritually, you grow. You understand many things and you will grow. So, Jim and I, uh, it was, um, of course, once again, a uh, fucking good reading. So thank you so much for watching and until next time I wish you all the best and bye for now.